Fittipaldi on the left in that car, which if you look straight down on it from the top, looks like a Brazilian flag. And here's the green flag. And Scott Brayton is passed by his teammate. 95, Indy 500, sitting in second, 10 laps to go. What's going through my mind? Uh, well, at that point, not a lot of things because I'm only 10 laps to go. I'm pretty much concentrated on the race. And we talked about the changing of the guard. Here is a sophomore, second year man running first and a rookie running second. When I, I sat in, in, in the car race day, like, uh, it was comfortable and, and it was natural coming to me. It, it's not that, I'm not gonna say that I didn't have to work for it, but it wasn't one of those that, wow, I'm losing the car almost every lap and it's really hard to drive and only a miracle can save me. And then suddenly at the end of the race, you get that miraculous yellow flag that changes the whole scenario. It wasn't that, it was something that steadily we started moving forward because we knew that we had a good car and we just concentrated on good pit stops. In front, Fittipaldi. Christian Fittipaldi runs in second, seven laps to go. In, in actual fact, we, we, we had a, a huge problem that day, like the, 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 the floor of the car came, came undone and obviously the car starts becoming less and less effective because the floor supposedly sucks the car down and it gives you more grip. And if it's not pulling the car down because it's undone, you're, you're losing grip. And if you look in, in the footage, there was about eight or 10 laps to go. I almost lost the car and like I, I was completely sideways going into turn two and I almost nailed it into the wall. Well, Fittipaldi in trouble in that car for a second. The track conditions, Bobby, must be terrible. It was extremely, important weekend for me. I, I think it was uh, very important in my racing career because it was my third, if I'm not mistaken, third or fourth IndyCar race. It was my third oval start, so I had very, very limited amount of oval running. Has taken the win. There's second place, Christian Fittipaldi. Third place is Bobby Rahal. Christian, you drove like Uncle Emerson today. Congratulations on a second place finish. Yeah. I'm I'm very, very happy because it was a difficult month for me, especially the first week. We just couldn't get the car up to speed. And it was a long race today, and I think everything worked out right. I'm only a little bit upset because the car was perfect balance up to a half race distance, and I had the same pace as the leaders. And then after that, I don't know for what reason, it was over stereo all the way through. But nevertheless, it was a fantastic race. I almost won the 8500. Wow, that, that, was, that was pretty huge.